so here i have some advanced system for the water tap for you guys similarly it's like uh, the most of it like from the, my previous video uh this is like kind of similar but now i have implemented like raycast into it so this like if you press e it like the lever goes down and animation you know particle system flows down the water and uh, audio source plays and just that's it and sometimes it's you know uh, like it to make it like you know real natural it you know what the water comes like you know flows uh, less and more so that's just in the particle system you can also change it according to yourself and the more the most trouble that people were having in my previous video was that with these textures and mesh so this whole project uh, is like about 800 mb i have uploaded on my google drive you can check out from the link in the description so you could you know just import out the whole project in your unity uh, the basically the basic stuff is that uh, these two are the audios this is like the footstep for my you know the guy uh, this is just the simple standard from the standard assets is the uh, you know fps controller and this is just the bathroom voice like the water tap and i'll i'll just explain you how to, you know put all these things in your project so you could be just you know have these things like easily uh, first of all these are the assets i believe uh, this could just you know get you these particles this is the particle system and this is the water drop system like the material it got this albedo and normal map and color that's the same thing the albedo one and there is a splash one splash material oh sorry about that this is the so this is the splash material which is have like this albedo normal map and yeah those two okay so these one two materials one particle system and these two are the textures of those two materials so these are the water leak uh, signs and these are the textures for the surroundings you don't need those i believe this is just the text mesh pro standard assets scenes and just these are the animations for the lever of the water tap animation uh these i won't go like in much detail in the animation in this video uh you can just you know go to the animator and uh just you know if i go to the animation and if i just go for water tap uh it would be like uh yep this one and i have these two animations like idle and open and make sure uh, this one is just the idle one and uh, this one is the open like i have three of like this this you know pulls down the lever and the other one just you know pulls up uh, pulls up the lever back up and uh, to set all those we have the, this system in the animator we have two bools parameters open and close these are set in the script so i will just you know tell you how to do that uh in this script i have raycast so you know the previous one have the tool uh which you know collide through the walls but the raycast doesn't so yep basically if you just you know import this project in your scene uh, you won't be having much trouble you can just you know use it as it is but you have to keep in mind if you want to you know import it into your own project so this is the tap idle this is the first uh, step animation and this you have to you know make sure these two options are unchecked uh default they are checked but you have to uncheck those for all three of those and for the first one you have to go open true second one close true and the next one is again open true so this is the animator one and if i go for this three you have to close uh, uncheck the loop time for all of those so they you know they don't play in the loop again and again so this is for this and this is my prefab make sure you have a box collider attached to it uh, uh, on the you know uh, on the if you have like your own prefab model uh, make sure uh, to the make sure the prefab which is attached to the water tap script like the, the same like the same or game object should have the water tap script and the box collider or unless it won't work nicely okay or it, it won't work this is the open text like these are the text uh which would be uh which would be like in the ui these text and there's the crosshair so you just you know uh go if i go for the script you can see these are the variables public variables you have to assign those in the from the editor like you know drag and drop like that and this is the particle system and this is the tap open the, the audio source now i'll just talk about the particle system how you're going to be assigning the things the first you could be just you know uh, you could just uh, what you could what you can do is like uh, this is the prefab like if i go over here what you can do is 
you drag it drop over here and make it a original prefab and now you can see in the renderer it has this water drop small and all the settings have been like you know uh, like the same as this one so that you don't have any trouble and then you can just you know in from the explorer you can import uh, this water leak system into your own one because this one you see this one is the like the default one it doesn't have the trail material and extra stuff so you can just you know prefab it and then just uh, import into your own project i'll just undo that for now uh maybe maybe i just you know yeah i just have to delete that delete delete only and for this splash uh if i if you go for this particle system uh wait a second uh if you go you know this this is you know the splash that is like you know coming back from the ground so you can just change it uh, uh like you know move it uh, according to the floor and this is the small drops those are coming out and if you want like you know to fill a tub like a water tub in the bathroom with this like i would say like uh, from this water tap what you can do is uh place a water uh, uh, bath tub and uh, you know uh 3d object plane and like you know uh you can attach this uh, to this and you see like this is like of something water like and uh, uh, by the time you can in the scripting you can just you know animate it like this and you would see like a tab tab is filling up so that's how you can do it okay like with a bath tub uh, i'm just you know currently just showing it like this you can just uh, this is just an example okay now i'll move on to the scripting part uh, i think this video is getting too long these are some variables those are necessary and these are some booleans so that we can see uh the basically we start from the raycast and the raycast obviously comes out from the center of the main camera and its length is 2.5 like it's i kind of found it default like you know so the person is not too far and not too close uh that's just a, also main thing you have to assign a tag to the game object uh this water tag this interactable tag so that the uh raycast can find out to which objects to be you know uh to interact with and it sets the reach true and then it makes our you know the text which is say open and close so that's what is it and those are the buttons you can just set it to like interact button or also you can just do it like uh, you know uh get key down and you can just you know get, enter your own key but if you get for the get button down and th uh, then you know write your own thing interact then you have to set it in the project manager or maybe the key manager <coughs> so here the animation plays and here the animations like you know if the tab is already open the animation becomes false like the also this is for the running water dot stop the particle system stops and it plays on the you know the button press that's just the simple script guys you can just read and understand that and to implement these buttons uh, again i'm telling you you have to go into project settings and uh, uh where it is input manager there you if you have the 20 just increase it to these 21 4 30 50 and just write the same word that you have written down over here and then you can just interact and on the positive button make sure you have the key that you want to you know the name of the key you can find those keys if you have like you know don't know the name of a key you can just uh, yeah google it Okay so I think that's all for this video you can find the link for this uh, whole project in the description make sure you subscribe and like the video if you found this video useful bye bye see you take care in the next video i'll see you bye bye